another instructional video brought to you by California Camping. Tell ho! Um, today we're going to be looking at some um, high-end seat covers. Now those of you who've been watching our channel for a while will know that I found an absolute bargain in Lidl's for I think it was £15 for some seat covers and they've done this really well however they're not great I mean they don't look great so you'll see here it's sagging a bit the elastic that goes around the headrest has actually broken on one side. Um, don't get me wrong they have been great for how much I spent on them however we can do better than that. Um, so over at Everything California, they've been really good and sent us um, the seat covers that we asked them for um, to try out before we decide whether we want to buy them or not. Um, now you can get these from Everything California. Everything California is part of the VW California Owners Club. This is designed specifically for the T6. Well, these seat covers are designed specifically for the T6. Um, and I really like the design on them, which is why we asked for them. So. Apparently they take about 45 minutes to put on, we'll see about that. But I've been sent some tools whoa, and whoa, also... Whoa, no, that's three or four hours that is. Three quarters of an hour? No, it's not, it's three or four hours. <laughs> <laughs> it's not three quarters of an hour. <laughs> oh god, I've put you... aside 45 minutes No, you need, you're going <laughs> to skip lunch, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm really hungry, I haven't had breakfast. So we're going to do this whilst I'm hangry, so <laughs> you're going to see the... Uh, Dramatic, the drama unfold here. Um, but How yeah. hard can it be? Well, uh, you, the good thing is, everything California actually put videos up of how to put these on um, each individual part. Now, I've watched um, the videos for the front seat, which is where I'm going to start, and it looks like you start on the um, base of the seat, the where your bum goes. So we're going to start there. Uh, I need to take off a few bits as well. And again, all of this is on their website in an instructional video. So I, I don't want to go into too much detail. Um, but I will talk to you as I go about things that maybe I struggled with or better ways of doing it. Or if it's just been really easy and I have done it in 45 minutes. So come with me on this journey. I love the colour of them. They've got really like a bit of a GTI tartan thing, but in like a blue. And the blue matches this blanket. <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah. I mean, you can already tell these are a lot thicker than these are. These are really thin and they've got this sort of... You can see that there as funny well. inside, whereas these are really, really well lined. You can see that there as well. So they are designed for the to work with the airbag as well. Yeah. I like the logo a lot. That's really cool as well. So... This is the oh, they've got, they do have pockets in the back as well. Oh, they do? Is yeah, we thought to... they might. Ah. They just take, because they have pockets in the back of the seats on the California, we thought it might go over the top and sort of lose that, like these ones do. These are the older ones, which obviously I don't expect much from these, but they've been fine for what we want, what we needed. But these yeah. have been sent to us to try out and um, sort of show you guys them. But um, if we end up liking them, we will buy them off them. So what's those bits? These are the armrests. Oh, so um, you get individual armrests. Yeah, as well. you actually have to take the armrest off, which is what the um, they send you a they send you a part to take the um, armrest off. So it's just so this, it's bit, this that, bit here that yeah, I got sent. But it just fits into in this case a ten mil socket. Um, yeah, and it just helps and. And then you I've also the... got a. Um, I've watched in the videos. Oh, he's got like a little prodder to push things into things. Now I've got a. Um, this is actually for icing cakes to make it really smooth but as you can tell mine's been used quite a lot and it's a bit wonky <laughs> so I don't mind using this to, to shove stuff in or a knife actually a blunt knife would be good yeah so there's lots of options not a big sharp knife I need to find the bottom part because that's where I want to start aha there's the seat right let's get started we've managed to get one arm off already using yeah. the instructional video. There's the arm there. You so it's can a bit see scary. it's got like a, a casing around it. Sean's sure going to show you what happens now. It's a bit scary but you just kind of have to... It needs to be around it. this side I think. There you go. There, there we go. go. So that's off. Um, as you can see I did that bit so some, some uh, sometimes you need to have an adult here to do this. I did the first one I think you'll find. <laughs> 
Um, this one you have to rotate the seat a bit to be able to then use this and this just slots in here and it is the correct way thread so you do loosen it by turning to the left but they're quite tight this is where you need somewhere strong <laughs> well, that one's a bit it's better okay. it, it is the correct thread at first i thought because it was so tight i thought well, maybe it's an opposite direction thread but it's not so um yeah and it just be really careful not to strip the thread on the um bolt not the thread sorry the the head of the bolt because it's a bit scary make sure that's that um, tool is in seated nicely no pun intended unbelievable and then they just slide off and then the bolt is loose so don't lose that it's just one of those i'll keep that nice and safe so they can so we're just stripping there. the chair and then i'm going to get started so there's one more bit i need to strip now what's the other bit oh, at the, bit the back front. oh all right okay so then that can go back like that and then back over to you and what's that you're taking off just another bit oh like a strip yeah you sure it just pulls oh you can see the clips in there can't you yeah now oh, there we go gentle gentle wiggle Scary. I know it is scary. I hate taking trim off. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's terrifying. That one's come off a bit easier. There we go. Yeah. Right. The clips all look intact, which is uh, pretty, <laughs> pretty terrifying. The thing is, I'm pretty brutal, so I just go in. Yeah, for that scares so me. If I'm not going to break it, then hopefully other people won't as well. Right, that's um, all the bits done. I've emptied that, so let's give it so, a So then your seat just looks like that. So it's worth noting, once I took that back panel off, this one here, that you can see on this one, on this chair here, this became a bit loose. So I actually pulled it off a bit, like that. So that I could fit all this in down this side without having to tuck it down. Now the other side, I've given up on the spatula thing. I've changed to a blunt knife. It is so much better. So that is something to take into account. And you can see, I think you can see down there, it's all tucked in now to the sides as per the video. Um, it wasn't easy. That's why I'm a bit out of breath. Um, but we got there in the end. And I think it actually looks quite good now. And I'll do better next time. And then uh, this bit here just pops back on like that. So that's good and then that will all tighten up i mean it's a bit loose here now um but it'll all tighten up when i put the back bit back on so i need to turn it around and pull all the drawstrings through i think you can see one there that's not a loose wire that's a drawstring so i can pull them through and pull it really tight right you should be able to see these drawstrings that have come from two different bits there and there and on that side as well you just literally tie these guys together on each side So we've got the chair back next. So that's what we're going to do. I'll move it forward a bit so I can start just pulling it over the top. As you can see, I've removed the headrest already. That came off really easily. And also, at the back of this, where the pocket is, make sure you remove all the stuff because you get another pocket in this, but it doesn't attach to the pocket from the original chair. So just make sure you've got everything out already. I know it seems obvious, but it's easy to forget these things. Alright, let's just pull it over. Just for the airbags on the right side. The airbags both sides. And see, the airbags are this side. And on this seat cover. Aha! Okay. So make sure you get them the right way around. It tells you where the airbag is. This one is on. The right side and on this chair it's on the left side so i've got to get the other one yep there you go so this one's got the airbag on the correct side as you can see it's actually got pre-cut holes 
and then it's got these bits up here which you just tuck in around them with the knife again around the points so I need to fit these a bit better so you can see it's got this bar here and it has to fit into this little clip here and the idea is it goes over the top folds round maybe you can do it one handedly that would be impressive oh look at that one handed and then in and then look at that seam you wouldn't even know it was there but that's a really tight clip that's brilliant I'm impressed with that I'm more impressed that I did it one handed to be honest but that looks good In case you're wondering what fuel you need to put the seats on, I would highly recommend tea cakes. There's a bit down the bottom here, I don't know if you can see it, this bit here. There's another bit that comes through and for love nor money, I cannot get it to attach. I might on the next chair, but I mean, it is unbelievably secure already. I'm not going to kill myself over it. That is really tight there already. And once this bit goes over the top, I think it will be all right. Now just a direct comparison of the backs of the two of them. This is the new one and as you can see it is a really nice fit. This is the old one. Not quite the same. Again very different price back brackets but uh, I think I much prefer this one. This is nice. Right so armrest covers now. You can see there's a hole there that attaches to that and these just slot over the top. Ah. I reckon that's the one for that one isn't it? Typical. There might be a bit of effort but um, it is worth it I think. I mean, you only have to do it once, well twice. About three times. A lady. <laughs> you have to leave them unzipped. So I'd suggest so. zipping them up first just to make sure that they fit and then unzipping them so that you can put the uh, cowling on and do them up. I do like the colour a lot. It's that really nice blue. Do we need to get covers for the covers to protect the covers? Almost definitely. Good work. Right, if you pass me... Oh, some okay. cowling down there. Let's hope that this fits on. Easy. It should just clip on. Yeah. It's just... It is so tight. Oh, yeah, they are tight. There we go. Oh. That's good. Can you zip it up? That's the question. Bit of strength, I'm sure you can. Maybe. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, look at that. A little bit of wiggling <laughs> does the trick and some muscles. Good work, Sean. Right, now to do all the others. There you go. Armrest done. And the chair. Oh, I still need to do the headrest. Right, bear in mind there are different types of headrests. So the long, sort of taller one are the ones for the front, and there are wider ones that are for the back. And if you look where this is, it's like slightly over to one side more than the other. And if you look to the side, in fact, it should be that way around, you can see which way round it goes as a result. I believe I'll just put it in. That looks really good. That was really easy as well. One seat down, lots to go. What do you think? I love the smell of them. <laughs> it smells like new car. It's good, isn't it? Mm. I'm really impressed with them. Mm. Now I know what I'm doing, they are actually fairly easy to put on. It's just learning in the first place. Verdict on the front seats then? Yeah, they're not easy to put on. Definitely not. I mean, I've not done what I've done is the 
helped with the armrests and stuff but um well now they're on they, they look, look really amazing, good though. they look absolutely amazing a couple of hours i reckon it's taken me to put the two front seats on certainly this one yeah. took like half an hour that was yeah. crazy easy i think filming as well alongside doing it that took me about an hour and a half so they don't look like seat covers they look like the trim yeah they look really good especially from the back i always think the back looks really smart also, Nick at Everything California did say if you get into trouble at all, anything, just give them a call. So they're really, really helpful. We haven't had to call yet. We've still got the bench seat to do, but <laughs> yeah, they are great to deal with. So. Now in the video for the rear bench seat, the actual seat part, it takes off a bit of the um, bench, which is this bit here. Now the instructions that I got with this actually say not to do that. Um, so just to feed it through with the spatula or something and then hook it because you get these little hooks at somewhere um, So I'm just literally fitting this on I would say lift from what I've just tried Lift the chair up first and put the back bits on first and then pull around the front It'll be so much easier to pull forwards than to try and pull over the top because it is a very tight fit So start at the back work your face way forwards uh, I think it's the aim of the game here and then you can tap all this in as well as you go along so because you're not taking off this metal bar the, these you would be putting on anyway they're just little hooks basically and you put them in like this so that the hook then would go under and then hook onto something underneath here oh, right. so there is a gap just between the chair and this here and if you use my spatula thing you see that it does go through if I open this drawer can actually feel the spatula see all oh, right so it does go through the bar and the idea is just to push this through would it be best to push the fab the fabric through Probably and then before, hook yeah then hook that on it's just you're putting the hooks on blinds but yeah i think you're probably right you could probably pull it back down though couldn't you let's have a go so let's just push this through put it under like that There we go. Right, so that's three. Oh. You need to be fairly flexible to do this, I think. All right, okay, I can feel the hook. And I can feel somewhere where it can go. So you can actually see the hook again. So it needs to be like that, doesn't it? So. Sneak preview there of something else we have to review. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, right, so that hook's all. Gate. That worked? Yeah, that has worked. Um, for the back bits, they come with they come with their own straps as well, these bits here. Now putting these on, you're like, which way round do I put them? Put them on so the neck is facing that way. Do you see the so hook is that way? And then basically you just put it underneath and there's a few bars that go this way along that you're going to try and hook them onto. So, hold it up as best you can and then just hunt for one. There we go. And that's that done. Now that's a good fit. And that was hard work, but worth doing. So all the little tabs have now been attached to bits underneath this. Both from underneath there where I've got it from the drawer and then other times when I've reached down there. And uh, there were two drawstrings as well, one on that side, or one elastic, two elasticated strings, sorry. It was one on that side and one on that side there. And I've tied them both together somewhere in the middle here, underneath. So again, that is really secure, <laughs> unbelievably secure. This is the, the back of the back seats. Now I haven't actually been able to watch the video for this one for whatever reason, it didn't work for me. But it looks like it's almost like a little vest, like jacket type thing. And it just you unzips and unvelcros and then you just slot it over the top. You might need to move the seat forward to get round the side of it. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Hmm. That's pretty tight. Do you need the other headset, head, uh, headset, headrest up? Yeah, I see. 
ignore these bits, these are only from the dog gate that we've got. sort of feeds around. So you put the seat belts over the top of them. With a lot of wiggling, I think we've managed to get the top part of each zip done. So now we're gonna just work it down slowly. You just gotta be so careful, like, don't have the zips taking all the tension because yeah, you're breaking them. So that's looking good, that is. I'm really impressed. Oh, we're nearly there. That one's down. So the left one's down. <laughs> Woohoo! That's down. What happens with these bits here? There's like Velcro on here. Yeah, you have to um, attach that underneath, I'm going to guess, like the front seats. So we will do that. Yeah, they do still go down. Yeah, they do. They get out of the barn, actually. Yeah. Good. Try and velcro them together. The velcro is super strong. There we go. And then I need to just pull these down. And a little wiggle. There we go. That is all done. That's good. Good work. Job done. Job done. It's taken, I haven't got a watch on, I reckon. You started at about 12, it's taken four and a half hours. Yeah, and I had lunch then as well. So, so it is about three to four hours. Yeah, so what they said in the instructions, three to four hours is completely accurate. The videos were really useful, but I also used quite a lot of common sense um, when I was putting it all together. Um, One thing to uh, point out is when you do that back bit, Make sure you find the oh, yeah, the, the pull of... cord thing to make the seat into a bed because that's attached. To that yeah, you'll you'll I'm sure you won't. <laughs> you'll you'll um, oh, <laughs> but you just have to sort of undo the Velcro a bit on the back of that piece there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So it's worth making sure you do still have that. But I am. Um, um, it it has been hard work. I won't lie. Um, like four and a half hours work is a long time however someone said it could be up to two days work so four and a half hours is not bad especially since this is my first time doing anything like this so um yeah i'm really happy it's basically like reupholstering seats yeah so um be but be ready for that they but are extremely well made i must yeah. say they're really really well made they feel really thick the difference between these and the little ones is yeah way beyond anything that i would ever imagine yeah, so definitely. they're really thick really good i like the design a lot and i really like the colors that they've used in them and these little bw california things so i'm really happy i know it's taken a long time but genuinely i'm really really happy with how they are and i would recommend them to people um make sure you have two people helping do the chairs though because there are bits that you can do by yourself but it does help to have a second person sometimes just to feed stuff through or just to discuss the best method of doing things but yeah hopefully this video has been really useful for people who are putting them on as well and um, some little tips about how to do things that i found a bit easier we said at the start that we were uh, if we liked them we'd buy them uh, i think we're going to buy them just because we so don't want to take them off we've got a choice um, <laughs> what I would but say, no we do like them we do like them a lot i said at the beginning use a spatula thing don't use that um, i used a blunt knife preferably unserrated because you don't want to um cause problems to the material um, but I was just using this side of the knife so that it wasn't the serrated side so it shouldn't have left any marks on it which it didn't um, just to push it into all of the gaps and things so yeah anyway don't forget to it. like and subscribe <laughs> thank you for watching and thank um, you to everything California for yeah. letting us try them out before yeah. we buy them I think it's a really clever business model because there's no way I'm taking these off and putting anything <laughs> back on again. So. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you very soon. Bye.